Okay, He's got vegetables in it. Okay, so in my defense this time, Abacus, I did make notes, so let's do this. Oh, we got notes this time. Two, one. Okay. So we talk about, you know, Milsim, <laughs> win-lose. You know, everyone by wants to be a winner. It popped into my head the other day that um, the <sighs> ideal Milsim game for me is finding the end of my rope. Finding my stopping point, my quitting point, the failure point for my gear. So when you say kit versus skill, I think the <laughs> ultimate game for the, the kit and the skill is finding the, the breaking point for those two things. We can Did you find that? Because I'm recalling that face plant in in-state route 19, <laughs> and whilst that broke some kit, it didn't put you at the end of your rope. No, but it, you know, it was well, well on that way. We can always drag you behind a suburban. We were willing to do that. Yeah. Just for you, though. That's why we're, you know. I was thinking of waterboarding. It's like there's no level plus armor. Yeah, but that doesn't break his gear. It just breaks him. Um, yeah, I mean, my, so for skill versus kit, I don't think it's an either or. You know, it's really easy when you put these things into absolutes. It's either this or that. Yeah, but it's, really, it's, not, it's, it's a scale. That's, that's a scale. Well, that's it's a progression do, both ways. Many people work and deal in absolutes. Yeah. Much um, like the dark side. Like, so it's, it's, it's not an absolute, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, you spend a lot of time on your individual skills and you spend a lot of energy and money on your kit. Okay, great. And that's the way it should be. You know, are you heavier on kit or heavier on skills? I don't know. That's that's the decision that, that every player has to make for themselves. Mm. My thing personally is I'm always in for skills. I mean, as we kind of talked about, I missed the entire arms race of Airsoft. I'm not a gear whore. Uh, you know, most, my best kit is 30 years old. Um, <laughs> so, so wait a minute. How many tacos do you have on that battle belt? Okay, I got that. That wasn't a race. That was slow and steady. I watched that I know, personally. I, it was like one hey, every other week. Hey, that's how you win a marathon. Yeah, you, you, I can't say you don't pace your gear not at all. Pace just yet. I, I'm, I'm just saying, you have you have taco pouches. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. So, wow. Ish. And, and, and I'm not I'm not trying to throw stones. I'm not trying to throw stones. I want to point out seven. that everybody's version of what what level you got to get to before you qualify in that gear or category is different. Yeah. So he uses the offset of gear. He needs more mags because he's not that but great of a shot. Also, I'm not that great. Also, I've got a, I've got a couple of also, fairly high end guns. It's also the type of. But gear I don't have too. a cool plate carrier. Yeah, it's also the type of gear. Where do you want to draw the line? Yeah. You know, but it's I mean, like guys have Pantech RRVs. I have an Eagle Industries, real one made in America. You know what I mean? I don't know what any of these things are. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really don't. I've okay, heard Pantech how, before. How about, how about well, how can I make this? More clear. Okay, some guys have replica stuff, and some guys have London Bridge Training right. Company. Right. You know, some of the American Milsom guys walk around with real cry precision. You know, eighteen hundred dollar breakaway plate carriers. You know, some people have the replica of the exact same thing, and it's good enough for them. All the optics I play with on the field are real. I cannot stand junk optics. Okay, but you'll have guys that have to have that newest, coolest looking optic that looks cool. But it's not functional. Right. It's I, defeated I, by I, it's you know, a costume piece. It's a costume piece. The, fact, the piece. functionality yeah. of the situation yeah, yeah. should be the determining factor, and yeah. people don't get it. I mean, my absolute favorite. I mean, I've got a plate carrier. Don't ask me what kind it is because I have no idea. I've got a helmet. Don't ask me what kind it is. I have right. no idea. I've got a belt. I'm, it's the HSGI one. Thanks, Gene. And it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I you know, love stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's the one product you can't talk bad about. It's just um, so good. But my favorite kit is my crummy thirty-year-old British stuff. You know, well, well that works. It's functional. That's what yeah, I'm but, saying. But that's it's because that fits your mentality. It, 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 well, it fits my mentality. It fits... Right. But, yeah. even, but even if and not... And that's true can't. for all of us. I, your Tacos are great. Wonderful product. I don't have any. I've got open top mag pouches. Everybody? Yeah. I do. I, I open top mag <laughs> pouches. <laughs> and, but what do I want out of a mag pouch? I want it to hold a magazine. Hold back. Right. It doesn't need to hold a can of beer. Right. Or, or a radio or any of the other things you can put in a taco and have it stay. Some of mine will even let the mag slip out if I go upside down. I know that doesn't happen to tacos. That's You're, great. Well, but you, and you don't do a lot of cartwheels anymore. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Right. It's not how I play. Uh -huh. So the gear that I've made, the, the gear that I've chosen works for me. And some of it I'm going to upgrade. Yeah, but you're not the typical guy that wants to have this look and feel. You're doing it because that's what you want. Right. It, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking for effective. Mo most people I spend money that, on a primary. Most, most, people, people, <laughs> think that, most people think but that he's they right. spend more money, they will be a right. better He's player. right. Right. It, absolutely. And there, there's a point where yeah. that does help. Yeah, absolutely. Where you go from I'm carrying my mags in my pockets to I'm carrying my mags in mag carriers. Right. That does improve. Right. So, so I communication. I don't, think, I, don't think that, I don't think that there's a big enough jump in most gear to justify it. Now, like I do night vision, this is common, uh, you know, common and that's a, There's a big, the big helmets, jump. The helmets, the mounts, they all matter. a huge difference. Right. It 100 does. 100% difference. It really does. And, and in, the same, in the same kind of example, 
radio gear. We're not talking about the Radio Shack crystal radio kit because that's not going to make it on the field. It's not. It's insu insufficient. We're not talking about Radio Shack's little handheld walkie-talkies. That's insufficient. We're not talking about Midland bubble packs. Bubble packs, they're effective to, to a point. point. Mm -hmm. You get at the big ops and you lose communication. That's have, just the way it is. Together. Right. You hit it and the higher cost, higher functionality radios, some of which require licensing, many of them do, that's a bit of kit that you better walk into with your eyes open because you're going to spend money and you better know how to use it and care for it. Absolutely, which I'm good with, 100%. Oh, most, yeah. people yeah. think, most people think that I have this awesome have, radio, I can reach everybody. How do I program it? Yeah, right. You know? most, <laughs> right. That's me. Most people think <laughs> that's me. I, most people think they upgrade just their cumber bun and some patches, and all of a sudden they can take on a team they never were able to be before. Most people think this. I've yeah, seen it's crazy. Guys, you know, it is crazy. It's like Battlefield it's Dog Tax. But Bam. It's right. It's delusional. It's people, it is, but most people are, are gift. Most a lot of airsoft players are gifted experts in self delusion. Well, that's a really good phrase. I like Delusions that. of grandeur. Yeah, um, it may not even be grandeur. It doesn't have to. It be. may be delusions of. Yeah, in know, your case, we, maybe we have exceptional we have, mediocrity. <laughs> yeah, we have guys that go with us. They just want to go for the experience, and they don't really care. And they're just, oh yeah, I've, I've seen those guys. They don't care if they win with. or lose. Like, yeah, we got one guy that comes with us national ops. He's never even asked. Like. I, I said some. Oh, I, we were arguing about a, a shirt that uh, American Milsom had, and he didn't know which side which flag was on. And I'm like, that's the side you're on. Dude. I, did, I like, didn't whatever. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know the care. difference between the UFS flag and the. We have no identity. We flip flop. So some people want to just have the experience, and other people only want between to be games though. Yeah, you don't flip flop the day of. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> but so, and, I mean, that's something that I've been within within our local you know, kind of Colorado community trying to improve is is showing the difference of what skills can bring you versus kit. Skills weigh a lot less than kit does. You don't have to carry all, you know, they stay up here. You don't have to carry your skill around in a big backpack in a, in a three day assault pack or whatever. Um, you know, so I've been trying to, to, to bring some more skill sets out to some of the players. You know, we have, we have a local team that they're fine players. None of them have ever actually had real, honest to goodness firearms training. And they need that because it's actually holding them back, not having those manipulations, that comfortableness with their weapons. You know, that skills. Is buying them a newer weapon gonna help that? No. <laughs> well, well, I'll be so bold to say that I, I honestly believe this. I'm not gonna, I, I think, think that people buy bold. a lot of bullshit and cover themselves head to toe just so they can't feel getting hit sometimes. I really believe that. I've that seen might, guys that, have that could be true. more square inches of their fragging body covered with more bullshit we, than anything. One of the things that I really find value in for Kit is good camo. I was actually just about to bring that up. Right. Yeah. And so when I started playing Airsoft, I took a glance around the field at some of the organized teams and looked at what they were wearing any better either because you have to be able to realize what your failings are before you can start to improve them. If they think they can buy their way out of a failing, they